Hey guys, Noah from Snapzilla here on a Thursday, February the 8th. And we're going to do something a little different from now on on these snapshots. Normally, well I can't say normally, but I'm going to try to get more of them out for one. But sometimes I do commentary, sometimes I don't. I'm going to try to do commentary on them from now on, but just not talk as much, I guess. Uh, normally I don't even know what the hell to say on these. I'm kind of talking out of my ass. So, from now on, I'll try to do brief commentary. I'll kind of pop in and out throughout the game. And uh, I'll try to keep them between 5-10 minutes per usual. But, uh, like I said, I'll try to get more of these out from now on. Anyways, this one just came out last night, this morning. It's in the Snap Roundup called Dig Dog Treasure Hunter by Wild Rooster. Uh, they say it is a roguelike platformer, which it is. Uh, I don't know, I've, I've played it, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes or so, and so far it hasn't been too bad, but I figure I'll give a little bit of a gameplay video on it. You got two game modes, as you can see, Bone Hunt and Free Dig. Bone Hunt is pretty much the main game itself. If, from my opinion, it, it that's your roguelike where you're jumping around trying to catch a bone. If you die, that's it. You start over. Free mode just seems to keep keep going. Controls are pretty simple. Uh, it takes a, it took a second for me to figure out at least the digging part. But it's basically just tapping on the right side will get you to uh, jump. You do have two uh, hearts. There are coins to find in this. I don't know what they're for, if they're for anything. Uh, maybe it's for the warp here. I haven't gotten too far to figure out, you know, if you can warp, I don't know, if you get to like, you know, fifth or sixth level, if you can warp to it with coins. But it is, it's a really twitchy game. Some of you may like it, some may not. I'll go into the easy mode here. Or free dig. Let's <laughs> go. 
as you can see, this is pretty much it for the game. I mean, what you see is what you get. There's an easy mode and a hard mode. I'm horrible. I mean, I can't say I'm horrible, but I'm not the greatest at it. As for my opinion on the game, it's it's fun. I'll quit here and go back to the tough mode. Um, it's fun. I would have liked eh, a little more to it. Maybe something like... Uh, I was originally thinking it was going to be more like a... Kind of like a downwell. I mean, not gameplay-wise, but... Maybe having, you know, it being a roguelike, but after playing so much or getting so many points or coins, you would gain some sort of ability or maybe even a, uh, a new background, something, new dog. But it's for the gameplay and stuff, it is, it is actually really fun. It's just... I guess I was expecting a little bit more. But that's just me. I still don't know what the coins are for yet. Like I said, the only other thing I see is the warp button. So my guess is it's for warping. Well, that was my high score. Anyways, that is it. That is Dig Dog. And it's on the App Store right now. It'll be in this week's Snap Roundup. I'll put all the links below in the description.